In a world full of jealousy, pecking orders and ignored strategy calls, it's rare to find true friendship on the grid in Formula 1. But there's been the odd exception throughout the years, where thanks to banter and respect, bromance has blossomed. Here's our top 10 Formula 1 bromances. Coming in 10th, it's Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Avocado, I mean Ricardo. Let's be honest, Ricardo just seems like the sort of guy everyone would be mates with. So much so that even Lewis Hamilton has become friends with the Aussie driver. I mean, they even have their own bromance name, Avocado and Ham, a bromance that Mercedes themselves approved of, and we do too. In at 9 is one of Formula 1's best frenemy relationships between Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. There's nothing that earns more respect in Formula 1 than speed, and these two have it in abundance. Whilst it's quite unclear how close these two are, given their rivalry over the years, their affection towards one another is a beautiful sight. Seeing two of the greats battling it out for the World Championship for years, and still being friends is very impressive in a cutthroat sport. I mean, just look what happened to Lewis and Nico Rosberg. It must be really hard to make friends with a teammate when they're the GOAT, but Jos Verstappen did just that during his stint at Benetton. Verstappen and Schumacher were extremely good friends, going on holidays together and even spent Christmas and New Year's together. When Verstappen dropped out of Formula 1 in 2002, Shuey made it clear how much he missed him, saying, I think a lot of people do miss him, especially myself because I'm a good friend of him and his family. It's a shame that things have been going that way for him. Before they even reached Formula 1, Denny Holm and Bruce McLaren were one of the ultimate motorsport bromances. The pair absolutely dominated the Can-Am racing series in 66 and 67, in what became known as the Bruce and Denny Show. New Zealander Denny Holm then joined fellow countryman Bruce McLaren in 1968 at his McLaren Formula 1 team. They relished their position as two New Zealanders against the world, but sadly their time in Formula 1 as racing partners was less successful, and Bruce McLaren sadly passed away in 1970. Then he remained at McLaren for the rest of his career, believing he owed it to his good friend and team boss Bruce. In sixth is Pierre Gasly and Charles Leclerc. The pair first met back in 2005, when their families used to holiday together in the south of France and in 2010 they became teammates in the French Karting Championship where they finished top two. From then they grew up racing with each other as well as Esteban Ocon and the late Antoine Hubert. Over this spell the four got to know each other well and while Ocon reportedly fell out with the others they remained friends. So much so that after the tragic passing of Hubert Pierre Gasly approached Charles Leclerc in Spa and claims I told Charles before the race please win for Antoine and his friend delivered. In fifth spot is Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Long before they were teammates at Ferrari, Vettel and Raikkonen were already good friends. They spent plenty of time together outside of racing, including playing badminton, something the Finn reportedly beats Vettel at. During their stint as teammates at Ferrari, the two became incredibly close and a superb partnership was formed. The Iceman claimed, we always get along well. With him, there are no politics or other ball, but just a normal male friendship. And for Vettel, the feeling is mutual just a straight up bromance. Yeah that's right, in fourth the lovable Aussie is back, this time with a lovable Dutch star. When Red Bull paired Verstappen and Ricardo, I doubt they expected for such a beautiful bromance to begin. Talking about their time together, Ricardo said, Max and I do a lot outside the job together and I couldn't get along as well with anyone else. Red Bull organises a lot of silly things for us to do, where we have a lot of fun and why not. Their silly antics were an absolute joy to behold and it was sad to see the romance dwindle after Ricardo's Red Bull exit. Let's hope they reignite their relationship soon. In at three is Jackie Stewart and Francois Sever. When Jackie Stewart personally chooses you as his second driver, you know big things are happening. This was the case for Francois Sever. The pair raced together at Tyrrell, where Stewart took the Frenchman under his wing and taught him the Formula One ropes. Sever the student and Stewart the master. Throughout the early 70s, Stewart tutored Francois Sever into a top talent in F1. That was until the tragic crash in 1973 where the Frenchman lost his life. Stewart explained that he became a great friend of the whole family. He stayed with us quite a lot, we travelled together a lot, and we were just awfully good friends. And I think that kind of thing is quite rare. Taking the runner-up prize is the latest blossom in bromance between Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. McLaren really did nail their team selection, with two drivers that are not just talented, but now pretty much inseparable. Endless memes, nights out bowling together, FIFA tournaments, they were destined to be together, and the banter never stops. 
Even team principal Andrea Seidel loves the friendship blossoming, explaining, Our drivers get on well and they have fun, both of which are important. They understand that it's not about the competition between them at the moment, it's about making sure they push each other in order to lift their overall game. With both confirmed for McLaren in 2020, expect more from the Mean Kings of F1. Taking the number one spot is the OG Formula One pranksters, the great Ayrton Senna and Gerhard Berger. During their time together as teammates at McLaren, Berger claimed Senna taught him a lot about the sport, but he taught Senna how to laugh. And that Berger did through some quite incredible and risky pranks. From letting off fire extinguishers in Senna's hotel room at 3am, to replacing his passport photo with what McLaren team manager Ron Dennis described as an equivalent size piece of male genitalia, which ultimately led to Senna being detained for 24 hours in Argentina. But it wasn't just Berger having all the fun. Senna took revenge brilliantly, apparently sneaked French cheese into Berger's hotel room air ducts and glued all his credit cards together. Talking about their relationship after Senna's tragic death, Berger said, We went holidaying together, spent time on my boat together, we spent time in his place in Brazil together, we played around, we went out, we had a really good time. Those were our top 10 Formula 1 bromances, but did we miss any? Which F1 bromance do you love the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.